Hi everyone and a warm welcome to all of you. So today's session is going to be on plate presentation. So I have some beautiful plates, white color plates here. So I'm going to exactly show you how the food has to be presented so that it looks really appealing. Okay? Really enjoy your food. So along with me, I have four students. So I'll just quickly introduce them. So starting with... Uh, hi guys, I am Cyril and I am a second year student. Hi everyone, I'm Manisha and I am a second year student. Hi everyone, my name is Dear Sudan. I am a second year student. Hello everybody, I am Asgohan. Alright, so I have four second year students with me. So along with you all, I am also going to teach them how exactly the plating has to be done. So there are certain rules for plating, okay? simple rules which are I can say common sense also. Okay? For example, if I am plating a sauce or a gravy on this, okay, that sauce or gravy has to be sufficient to go with that particular dish. Okay? For example, if I am plating a murg makhni okay, or a butter chicken obviously I cannot use this kind of plate okay, I will have to use this plate which has got some depth in it so that the sauce doesn't flow out okay. there are simple rules which you need to take care of and I am going to show them one of the platings and then what they will do is they will use their common sense or whatever skills or art they have and here I have certain ingredients okay, which I have pre-cooked and kept so they can use any of these ingredients and they can imagine and do their own plating alright so let's start so first I shall show you different styles of plating a sauce so here I have got some beetroot puree beets which I have boiled in water and after fully cooking I have made a puree of it so you can use any of the sauces which can be plated it can be a mint sauce it can be a tamarind sauce so you can see here there are different strokes which we use to plate so this is one style of putting your sauce so you can use any styles of plating uh, different styles of creating strokes so here you can see Govardhan has got another style where he has used a spoon you can use a spoon you can use a fork you can use a glass so later on I'll show you how do you plate a sauce with the help of a glass also so various different types of strokes you can see here one is a straight one is a curved plating a sauce is just an art it's like painting on the canvas you imagine and you plate your sauce so Alicia here has used a fork and she has given a stroke with the help of fork here. Again a curved stroke. It's just that it has to look good on the plate. It has to look decent. It has to look professional. No smileys on the plate.
so here what he is doing is he has used a tissue in order to give some strokes Let's see what is he up to. Oh, so he has used a brush to give this type of stroke. So this is also one of the styles. You can use a bakery brush also. So that's also looking really good. Yes, again a fork. So as I, as I told you, this is uh, where you can use a bowl or a glass and just use it to plate a sauce. So these are some of the ingredients which I have pre-cooked and kept. So I shall use all of them to do the plating this is a potato mash or a potato puree I have boiled the potatoes by de-skinning them and I have boiled them in water after cooling down I have grated them and put it in a piping bag again a beetroot puree so this plating style is actually a classical way of plating this has been going on from many years from ancient years from ancient uh, years our chefs have been using this technique of plating a very simple but elegant way of plating your dish very simple some mash some roasted chicken some buttered vegetables and a beetroot puree so I have used a beetroot puree just because it looks nice on the plate you can use any of the sauces which go well with your dish anything on the plate has to complement each other do not try to put something just because it looks nice on the plate it really has to go well there are certain combinations which are pre-approved by our great chefs and which really work for example uh, a roasted chicken with brown sauce or roasted chicken with hollandaise sauce or a white sauce is a classical combination and that can be that can anytime be used i'll just use beetroot because it looks for the presentation i used it but you can use any of the sauces whenever you want to use or plate a sauce see to it that there shouldn't be any lumps in the sauce otherwise it wouldn't be possible to give the strokes in order to give proper strokes on the plate the sauce has to be lump free so as I was saying it has to flow from the bottle the squeezy bottle which I'm using so because it does not have any lumps it's flowing very smoothly so this style of plating is called the linear style wherein all the ingredients are uh, supposed to be in a straight line okay that's why it's called the linear previous one was the classical way of plating this one is the linear one this is a slightly modern style of plating so again the ingredients which I'm using are the same 
I have not changed any ingredients, just that the style of plating has changed. Again, beetroot puree with mash. Roasted chicken. Now here, if you can see, I'm cutting the chicken in a different style. I'm using cubes of chicken. Different shapes, different sizes, different cuts. You can play with many of the things on the plate. And always try to keep your plate colors count contrasting. Similar colors will not give the elegant look. Always use contrasting colors, green, yellow, red, different combination of colors, which will make your plate more attractive. Some carrot, blanched carrot cubes. Again, the carrots have been cut into cube, cubical shape. Some boiled and buttered baby corn. So always try to give your plate a slight elevation. So if you can see, I have kept beetroot lengthwise on the plate. So it gives a 3D effect to the plate. So if your plate is elevated rather than being flat, okay, always try to elevate your plate. Always try to give it a three dimensional look, which makes it more attractive. You can see the standing baby corn and the French bean actually give it a wow factor. To finish off, I have some micro greens or micro herbs which you easily get in the supermarket. So a combination of green, orange, white and maroon beetroot color actually makes the plate elegant. So now Cyril is going to use his own imagination and plate his dish from whatever he has learned till now. So I have given them a free hand of using their own imagination and skill to plate. So let's see what they create from the ingredients. So he has topped the beetroot on the chicken. Again, he has used a spatula to create some design. Alicia is drawing on her hands. Let's see what she creates. So a fair job from Cyril, it's looking nice. A well patterned strokes from Alicia. So after that, she's, she's using mash, potato mash. So this technique, uh, what Alicia is doing is she is using one side of the plate. That's also one of the techniques. One is the linear style where you go through the center of the plate, which you can see here. One is on the side of the plate. So you start from side, not the center. So I think Alicia is doing the same thing. A good effort from Alicia. So what I mentioned just now is plating on one side. So I will I would be showing the same thing. So I spread the sauce on the left hand side of the plate 
and I shall just give a little spread to it. Again, the same ingredients I am going to use for the mash. So as such, there are no hard and fast rules for plating. It's up to your imagination. Just that whatever you plate has to be sufficient enough. Just don't put two or three drops of sauce and uh, imagine that the guest might like, like it. No, the sauce has to be sufficient. The accompaniments have, have to be sufficient. The main uh, dish, for example, the main ingredient here is the chicken followed by the sauce and followed by the accompaniments which are the buttered vegetables and the starch here is of course the potato mash so everything has to be sufficient in its own so that the customer is satisfied with the uh, his stomach fills okay he should feel that he has got the value for money and of course it has to look the best also once the plate comes in front of him, he has to get that wow factor, wow. So that's very important. So here I have used some orange segments uh, to go along with the chicken, which is also a pretty good combination. So here are the five plates. Three from the students, two from me. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And thank you so much.